Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 191. What we're going to look at today is three kind of lesser known, lesser used functions, but combined they do something cool. Let me just maybe give you a little sneak preview, if you will, of what they're going to do when we're done. What you can do is you can put 480, or the number of minutes, in this cell, and I've got a big, long, nasty formula in this cell that con converts 480 to 8 hours and 0 minutes. You can say, well, I can do the, the math on that one. That one's not so hard. But if I do 1,028, it'll say that's 17 hours and 8 minutes, or 721 is 12 hours and 1 minute, or 166, 2 hours and 46 minutes. What this formula does is it takes the minutes that are in this cell and converts it to hours and minutes, which may be really helpful if you're in anesthesia or other uh, specialties where you ca uh, care a whole lot about time. Here's the three functions, and I'll show you how this uh, big, long, nasty formula works next time. First function is called INT. And what I've got is if you've got a number like 43.8, INT against that number simply rounds down to the nearest. It's, 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 a, it's like the round down function. It rounds the number down to the nearest integer. That's all we're doing is taking 43.8 and going to the nearest integer. Uh, 0 0.5 goes to 0, negative 7.3 actually goes down, doesn't go back towards 0, but keeps going down to, to negative 8. Hopefully you don't have negative 7 minutes, but that's all INT does. It takes a number and rounds down to the nearest integer. Pretty straightforward. The LEN function simply looks at length. So um, the length of 5 is simply one character. The length of, length of 90 is two characters, and again, all we're doing is saying the length of whatever's in this text string, and it goes and counts there's a 9 and a 0, that's 2. That's all you need to figure out with uh, length. Length of a negative number is 3 because of the negative. See how that works? I've got the negative, the 5, and the 1, that's counting up to be 3. And uh, typically what you use length for is text and not numbers, and something like Nate will come back as 4. So that's all length is, is it says, tell me how long how many characters are in each of these fields, and it'll tell me one, two, three, four. Last thing I want to show you is this mod function. And what mod does, let me bring the function arguments window up and show you. It, it figures out the remainder. So what it'll do is, what I'm doing is I'm taking B11 divided by B12. So when you take uh, 6 into 5, you're going to have 5 and a remainder of 1. And what mod is trying to do is tell you what the remainder is. It's not worried about how many times 6 goes into 5, for example, if I did 60 into 5, there's no remainder because 5 times 12 is 60. If I do 60 into 50, then I get a remainder of 10 because it's going to go one time and there's going to be 10 left over. Same thing here. The mod of 30 into 60 says, we go right there, the number is 30 divided by 60. Well, it doesn't go in at all. And so it brings the whole 30 down as a remainder. And if you've got 121 into 60, it's going to go twice, 60 times 2 is 120, and leave 1 as a remainder. So all mod is doing is figuring out the remainder in a division problem. It's not worried about how many times it goes into whatever number. It just says, tell me what the remainder is, and if there is no remainder, it'll tell you. There's no remainder, and the, rema and the remainder is 0. That's what I wanted to show you in Excel video 191. We'll need all three of these functions, int, length, and mod, to get this guy to work, and we'll do it next time. Thanks for watching.